Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Saturday edition of Get Live Training. Janet Legere here. And my wonderful fresh cup of coffee. Look at that fresh coffee. Can you smell it? Mm, there it is. It's in there. Yes. Nice and fresh. Ah, oh, won't it be nice um, when the day comes that we can have reality computers where you know we're on the call here and you can actually smell things that'd be kind of cool hey i can send you a pizza <laughs> good morning everyone janet Lachere here and along with my partner don we are your hosts every saturday for the get live training show where we share some of the strategies we've used over the last 16 years to help you learn how to build your list and make money online <clears throat> so i just want to check with the group it is a long weekend in North America. I'm not surprised at a small group today, although there may be some more that come in. I do encourage you guys. Oh, pardon me. I got a little frog in my throat. <clears throat> I do encourage you guys to invite your friends to come and join us. Just post the link on Facebook. Uh, invite them. You can either send them to Get Live Training or to the direct webinar link. Today we're going to be talking about making first gotten dacked. Don and I uh, have been here for quite a while. I'm going to start a little bit about who we are, where we came from, why you even want to listen to us. Then Don's going to come up and give you a little bit of inspiration, talking about life and living. And then we'll get into the training part of our call. Yeah, I'll, I mentioned to Wally next time he comes in to use his name instead of his username. So he did introduce himself, so we're pretty cool. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Are you having a great day? Oh, sometimes I really, <coughs> pardon me, sometimes I, I always enjoy however many people are on our webinar and I'm, uh, I particularly enjoy it when we have a small group because I can pick on you more. <laughs> when I have a small group, I can tell who's interacting, who's not interacting. And you know, the truth is that our webinars are very interactive. That's why I like to use this technology because I can hear from you, I can see you, you can type in the text chat, and we can have a communication. I'm not much for one-way communication. Although, I mean, I like this technology because I get to talk lots. <laughs> right? Well, these calls are very generic, and so we do ask that you refrain from sharing your personal or business information in the text chat unless I ask you to do so. There's plenty of time at the end of the call to network with everyone who's here, and we encourage you to do that. And I do also encourage you to interact, to engage, to comment, to ask questions. All I ask is that you keep your t the topic, keep the conversation on topic, and we'll all get along just fine. Sound good? Are we all ready to get started? I know I am. Hi, Rahima. Great to have you with us today. So who the heck are Janet and Don Legere, and why would you want to listen to anything they have to say? Well, you know, I, I could just bring John Jarvis up and, and have him come up and, and talk about us. He, he's always touting our, our benefits, and I love him for that. The truth of the matter is we've been here for quite a while. We've been here for 16 years this year, which is really quite a feat, I believe. And in that 16 years, I have taught the same strategies that I teach today, basically, to build your list. Over the last 16 years, we have developed several very successful revenue streams in affiliate marketing and network marketing. It seems that whatever we pay attention to and focus on, we become successful in. There's a secret to that. There's a reason for it. We have a strong passion for helping others master these simple strategies to use the internet to follow your passion and make money. I just want to check with everyone. Are you all here? This is a trick question. Are you all here to learn to make more money? Are you all here to maybe make your first dollar online? Are you here to finally figure this internet stuff out? As I'm going to tell you, it can be a really complicated place. It can be a very overwhelming place. And I've learned over the years that there's one thing you need to do, and that is to build your list. And from that list, you're going to create your funnel of, pros of products and programs. You're going to build relationships. And you're going to make money. You're not going to make money because you have the best sales page out there. You're not going to make money because you're sending out lots of ads. You're going to make money when you start to focus on building your list. When you spend your time advertising that capture page to build your list. When everything you do is directed to getting more people 
into that subscriber list. Because that, my friends, is the magic of internet marketing. There's been many times in our career over the years when things have not gone the way we wanted them to. In the very early days, in 2003, the company that we were promoting, the meat and matter of our business, of our everything of our livelihood, went belly up. There was corporate mayhem and everything just went um, downhill. They closed the doors and we went from earning a full-time income to earning nothing overnight. It's really difficult when that happens. It was a really big learning lesson as well because I recognized that in that three years we had spent time building our list. I, I was adamant about doing it. I realized that I actually had a system in place that was working very well for me. I also realized that I didn't need to rely on one organization and one company to make money. What I needed to do was get my stuff together. So I put together the very first ebook, my contact list builder ebook in July of 2003. We launched our affiliate program and I have never looked back because the truth of the matter is those that are following what I teach are making money. They are building their list and they're learning to connect with the people on their list and they're learning to build and grow. There's no magic to all of this. I truly believe that creating your contact list, beginning to build your list is the, the start for all of it. It's where you need to start. It's what you need to focus on. There's so much more to internet marketing. Don't get me wrong. There is. And we teach it all. We teach you about blogging. We teach you about content curation. We teach you about everything you need to do, social marketing. But I need to tell you that the truth of the matter is you need to get back to basics. You need to keep it simple. You need to focus on making this work. Is there only one way to do it? No. What we teach at Contact List Builder is a strategy. We teach you to set up your autoresponder, create a lead capture page, and advertise that page. Three simple steps. Do you need to use the CLB capture pages? Do you need to use our autoresponder? No. You do need to follow the process. Set up an autoresponder. Set up some campaigns that include all the programs you belong to because I suspect everyone who's on this call has had shiny object syndrome over the last many years and you belong to a number of programs and some of those programs offer commissions. Am I right? Put your hand up if, if that's you. If you over the years have joined more than one program and some of those programs offer to pay you money. Their affiliate programs or they're part of JDZoo, whatever. You bought a product and you can sell that product and make money. Yes? Two of you do. Anyone else? Or are you all asleep already? Kenneth, Barbara, Ruby? Of course. So here's how hard this is. You go into your autoresponder and you start writing letters for every product and service you have. Not everyone, let me take that back. The ones that, number one, you use, you have results with, that work for you. Those are the criteria. If it works for you, if you're using it, put an email in your autoresponder that says, hey, are you using this tool? It's working really well for me and I highly recommend it. Here's the link. Connect with me if I can answer any questions. And that's as hard as this needs to be. We have a whole class that teaches you that. But I wanted to give you that tip today before we went on and got started. Those are some of the things you're going to learn at the Contact Build Club. And it all starts with building that list. All right? Do you get that? you got to build the list first. You all want to make more money. You all want to get this working. You all want to make it simple. And I'm telling you, it is. It doesn't need to be as complicated as you're all making it out to be. So sit back, relax. Today we have a lot to share with you. I'm going to be talking about making first contact with all those people out there, something that most of you are not doing. I'm going to turn the room over to my partner in crime in a minute, but I just want to see how many of you are making first contact. I bet not very many. We're going to get in-depth there. We're going to show you how simple it is. I'm going to turn you all into the best first contact people there are out there. Are you excited about that? Well, the best 
best first contact person I know out there is uh, my partner in crime, Mr. Don Roger. Don and I met back in 1998 online. Yes, we met online. Isn't that funny? It was one of the first dating services that was out back then, and he answered an email, and the rest is history. And I must say that we are a very good fit. We complement each other. We work well together. We support each other. We, we are just really good together. And uh, he keeps a smile on this face every day. So I'm really excited. Turn, over, turn the room over to Don so he can get a word in edgewise, for at least for five or ten minutes, and let him talk to you about life and living. Without further ado, my partner in crime, Mr. Don. Let's Hey, good morning, everyone. Good to have you here. I won't be very long today, that's for sure. But I, but I do, I, I did want to talk a little bit about, you know, getting out of your way uh, in order for you to find your success. A lot of us here in the room are retired. A lot of us here in the room are looking for a way to improve their, hang on, I'll rekey. Okay, let me try that. Are we still having the sound issues or is it cutting in and out still? Let me know. Well, that's better now that I rekeyed. Okay, listen, we really, truly, you know, there are no barriers uh, to success. There, there, there really aren't. Uh, barriers are simply an illusion that keeps you from getting what you want to, to get. Uh, you know, we have to re-illusion ourselves and re-illusion our worlds because you know the reality is we do live in an illusion we live in uh, we, 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 we live in an atmosphere where we allow things to control what we do we allow things to control what we say and we certainly allow our fears to keep us from getting what we want uh, you know I read a, a small little motivational quote today that made me realize that maybe maybe age is a factor that keeps us from wanting to succeed maybe we feel we've missed the boat and we're just willing to sit back and carry on through the rest of our lives and take what it is we can take or grab what it is people throw at us uh, you know, life can be a lot better than that. Life truly can be a lot, lot, a heck of a lot better than that. And it doesn't matter how old you are. And it doesn't matter what skill sets you have. It, all that matters is do you have that dream locked in your brain? Do you recognize the barriers for what they are? Simple illusions. Uh, simple, simple problems that you just simply have to get around. So step back, take a good look at where you are today, and reimagine yourself. Re-illusion this life that you have on this, on this wonderful planet. I'll tell you, you're never too old. And I'm going to read this quote that I, that I picked up this morning. So if you think you're too old to try something new, to chase the dream you've been putting off for years, I want you to consider the following story of the Delaney sisters. Does anyone know the Delaney sisters? Sadie and Bessie Delaney? Anyone hear of them? Well, they were warm, spirited, independent African-American sisters who witnessed both the birth of black freedom and the rise of black middle class in America. You know, they figured that with a unique perspective on black history, the sisters decided to put their thoughts, feelings, and memories in paper in the form of an autobiography. Not so, note, not, not so newsworthy, not so noteworthy. Uh, you know, if you choose to ignore the fact of the ages of which the work was completed. The sisters published their stories at the age of 101 and 103 years old. So you're never too old 
to accomplish something huge. You're never too old to reimagine your life. You're never too old to create the riches that you believe are yours. And they are yours. You just have to reach out and grab them. So don't let barriers... Is it breaking up again, Janet? Let me know. So the moral of the story for today, ladies and gentlemen, is that you're, 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 you're never too old. So get that thought out of your head. Uh, Colonel Sanders created all his riches after he had retired as well. You know Colonel Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken? You know, there's a story of an individual who waited as well before he, before he made his mark, before he created his impact on the planet. So get rid of those thoughts, get rid of those barriers, reillusion your life, and start moving forward. Because it's simply a matter of getting your mind and your head in the right place. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the greatest success at work with work this week uh, and may your results be greater than you could even hope or even realize and with that Jan I'll give the room back to you thank you everyone well that was great advice I will work on the microphone I think it's your headset Don I think the good headset is up here you gave me the good headset yesterday when my room crashed uh, anyway we'll get that sorted I think we got most of that though Maybe it wasn't Don that was off. Maybe it was us. Maybe it was our hearing because of age. I don't know. Anybody here over the age of 40? How about the age of 50? I think we're all getting on there in age. And you know, nothing. there's nothing to stop us from being successful right now. And I'm going to tell you guys, it's easier than you think. And you're making it harder than it needs to be. Thank you, Don, for that amazing talk. And, it, you know, it, it's whether you do it at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or 100 years old, the truth is just be doing something that makes you feel good. Do it because it feels good. Don't do it because you have to. And if you have to, find a way to enjoy doing it. That's the secret to a happy life. Don't do it because you have to. Do it because you want to. Decide to do it. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to make first contact, why it's so important, when to do it. We're going to talk about your autoresponder, that magic little being that is amazing and can make you very wealthy. And we're going to talk about the types of follow-up to make first contact. Who's excited about this call today? Is this an area that's a challenge for many of you? I want to know. I want to know if this is an area of challenge, but that it's, you, you know what, chick contact list builder, building your list and all that is mechanical. There's nothing magical about building your list. It's not hard. Anybody could do it. I could teach my 12-year-old daughter to do it. I, in fact, I could probably teach my 2-year-old grandson to do it. He's pretty good on the computer. And if, if you can... Uh, work one of these little creatures if you know how to use a mouse and you you can read I'm pretty sure most of you can read am I right I'm being silly here but it's true who here agrees with me that if you can read and you can follow directions now that's a challenge for most of you and you know how to use a mouse build, build a list on the internet there's nothing you need to know there's nothing technical you need to know. There's, you don't need to be a mathematician. You don't need to be a good copywriter. You don't need to be a good blogger. You don't need to know how to do a website. You don't need to how to do anything other than copy and paste and read instructions. That's it, okay? Not hard. So Ruby agrees. Rahama agrees. Ricardo agrees. All the R's are agreeing. Anybody else agree? It's important. Okay. I don't know why you're all not doing it. Maybe it's too easy and you think, oh, there's, there's got to be more to it than that. But you complicate, you complicate everything. 
you complicate. Well, you know, John, John, I'm just going to talk to you about that for a moment before we get into making contact. Because the truth of the matter is, I didn't say it wasn't needed. I didn't say they didn't help. There are things you need to do. You do have to do those things. However, I bet if I ask the room here, how many of them are waiting until their blog is ready? My blog's not ready. I got a friend of mine. She's been waiting for months till her blog was ready before she did anything. And I was just pulling my hair out. You know, why, why are you waiting? You don't need to wait until you understand this. You don't need to wait until you know how to do SEO. You don't need to wait until you know how to do anything. You just start building your list and the rest comes. The rest comes. Because once you get the list building under your belt and you recognize how mechanical it is and that you just do it anytime, anywhere, now you're free. Now you have the freedom to learn everything else. You can learn everything else. Now, if you want to come online and start building your business by blogging, God bless you if you know how to do that and you're a really good writer, at the end of the day, you still need to build your list. <laughs> And I know that everybody here agrees with me. You know what? Can you make money without building your list? Sure you can. Absolutely you can. I want to show you how to maximize the Internet, how to maximize what you're doing here, how to make it simpler. Okay, guys, because you really are complicating all of this. So I want to simplify it for you. I want to get you back on track, and I want you to feel good about this. That's right. Well, you do it, do what, what's working, get it working. Once it's working and it becomes a habit, it's easy. Am I right? Would you guys all agree that once you get something working and you enough, it's a habit, it's easy. What was once hard is now easy because you practiced it and you did it. Okay, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to get this done. You know, the setup doesn't take long if you pay attention. All right, let's get started here. And make contact. Because I know this is an area that's a challenge. Building your list is mechanical. It's the easiest thing in the world. If you want to find people to talk to, there's no reason for you not to be overwhelmed with people to talk to. In fact, I spend most of my day having conversations with people on the Internet. It's not hard to find them to talk to. So why is making contact so important? Well, first of all, we are living in a global community. This is the internet. Okay, people will respond to good ad copy. Yes, they will. And and they'll respond to good websites and, and they'll they'll do that. However, I don't know about you guys. My success on the internet has come from the following I have, from the, the people who become repeat buyers, from the people who trust you, from the people who get to know that if Janet recommends something, the chances are pretty good it's going to work for me. If I use it the way she tells me to, it's going to work for me like it does for her. Who here fits that category? That's the category you need with your contacts. It doesn't happen overnight. But you know what's a beautiful thing about this is that as you build your list, people come to know you. They start to understand who you are. They feel like you care about them. This is where you learn to be interested in who they are, where you start to get out and find out, you know, John, what are you up to today? Kenneth, what's on your plate today? How's your business growing? What is your business? What kind of tools are you using on the internet? How long have you been marketing online? Are you making money? Where do you want to improve? I could go on and on. The list of questions that you can ask people just never starts, never stops. What would you like to have more of in your life? Well, you know, and that's a great question, Wally, but and I don't know that that's the best conversation starter. The best conversation starter to me is just a big hi. We really want to find out who those people are. We've got to make that contact. You've got to get out there and get people to respond. But that is a great question. What would you like to have more of in your life? Chances are when you meet somebody on the Internet, they're looking to build a business on the Internet. If you're following the circles you're in here, if you're into internet marketing and that's where you're connecting with people, chances are pretty good they're into making more money. Would you guys agree? So I really want you to relax a little bit about this. 
because I know that having conversations is a challenge for most of you. What if they ask me something I don't know the answer? What if they ask me about a question about my business and I don't know the answer? What if they ask a question about the compensation plan and I don't know the answer? What if they ask me how that works? And I don't know the answer because I really haven't started using it yet. I'm still learning, but I trust it. And I know that these are things that are holding you back. I don't know what to say. Oh, and then there's the other one. I reach out and they don't respond. <laughs> I only have one answer to that one. Anybody in that situation where you reach out but nobody responds? Anybody? New question here. You reach out, some of you do, you reach out, but nobody ever responds. You send emails, you do, yeah, they don't respond. I have an answer for that too. Just need to keep reaching and get more people. There are people in this room here today who've been on my list for as long as I've been online, just about. Maybe not quite, but 10 years or more. And I can tell you that they're still kicking tires and they're still kind of thinking about it. However, they are following and they are listening and they do trust what I say because they know it works. I've been here for 16 years, Don and I have earning a full-time income for most of that time. Probably took us about a year before we were earning a steady income. Don't get me wrong, we reinvested all of that back into our business. We, we took it further than, than you need to. You're in a very fortunate position because everything is already done for you. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to recreate anything. Just follow the steps. Plug in your business. Plug in what you're doing. And I promise you, you're going to make money. In fact, the ads I've been setting out there tell people that. I promise you, you'll get results. I guarantee it. I guarantee if you follow what I suggest you do, you focus on building your list, making contact, getting, letting people get to know you. And while you're doing that, while you've got that running nice and smoothly, you start doing everything else. Like blogging, which is all part of branding. Talking about your niche, the things you love to do. You guys hear me talk about all the time that I'm here to help you learn to make money following your passion. What excites you? Maybe it excites you to knit slippers. How the heck are you going to make money knitting slippers? Well, you know what? It's easier than you think. If you have a passion for anything, I can show you how to make money, how to find people who are interested in the same passion you have. Because it doesn't matter what you have an excitement for, there are people out there interested in it. When should you make first contact? Every chance you get. When someone subscribes to your list. Now, if you're adding 100 or more subscribers to your contact list every day, you probably don't have time to go and connect one-on-one -on -one with all of them. But if you're following the system that Contact List Builder and you're asking for a Skype ID or a phone number, you can pick and choose. You can look through your list of new subscribers and you can find those who've left their Skype ID. You can connect with people that add you on Facebook. Again, that, that can become overwhelming because there can be so many people that add you to Facebook in a day. How can you follow up with all of them? Well, pick and choose. It's all right to pick and choose, you know. When someone joins you in a program, that's definitely a prime reason for you to connect and make contact at the very minimum. If you're not adding them when they are become subscribers, then you, you best be adding and connecting with them when they join a program that you're promoting. And I'm going to tell you, how many of you who are following the contact list builder method of bringing people through CLB and then they get, they subscribe to your list, they sign up for CLB, and then they follow the downline builder programs and sign up in the programs under you. How many of you are seeing that happen? If you're not seeing it happen, it's because you're not following it, because I can tell you it happens every day, like clockwork. So whether you're doing it with CLB or you're following that system, it works. And what's the system? Well, you're advertising a lead capture page, and when they subscribe to the lead capture page, they're then redirected to sign up for something. So 
in CLB. We're having them sign up for CLB. Once they sign up, bing, bada boom, you have someone to talk to. You have someone to connect with. You have someone to reach out to, to help, to guide, to support. Maybe you didn't sign up for that. Maybe you didn't come online because you wanted to guide and help and support and train and do all that. That's okay. You still want to reach out to people because they need to know there's a real person here. Remember, this is a global community. Let's look around the room. We've got people from Canada and the U.S. today. Bless you guys. It's a holiday weekend and you guys are here. We often have people from the U.K. and, and Europe, all over Europe, Australia, New Zealand. I mean, we've got... Kenneth from Hawaii. We have no way to know who we all are. We're all strangers to each other until we get to know each other. The best way to get to know each other is to reach out and say, Hey, hi, I'm a friendly person. Let's connect and talk. I don't need to sell you my business. I'd rather find out what you're looking for because in the finding out of what you're looking for, I'm going to be able to direct you to what you need. Are you kind of sort of getting that? Oh, right now, guys, I got to tell you, September, October, November, you've got three months here to capitalize on this system, to capitalize on building your list. I can tell you I'm seeing activity increase every day. Kids are back in school. If you're in, a, if you're in an MLM of any sort or shape, this is the time to build it. This is when people are looking. How many of you recognize and know, and I'd like a yes or no on this, did you know that you can send a broadcast email to everybody in your autoresponder list anytime you want? You can go into your autoresponder and you can say broadcast and send an email to everyone on your list and just say, hi, I'm sitting on Skype today. I'd love to connect. Send me a message. Let's have a conversation. But you never thought of doing that, did you? I recommend that at minimum once a week you get an email out to your list. You let them know that you're a real person who's here to help them. Whether helping people is up your alley or not, you need to let them know you're here to help them. And helping them can be as, as, as simple as directing them where they need to go. So if somebody comes to you and they ask you a question and you don't know the answer, where do you go? Who are you going to call? Somebody put their hand up. Who are you going to call? If you connect with a contact, they ask you a question, and you don't know the answer, who are you going to call? Look at that. Marva came in here at the perfect time for the perfect question. You're awesome, Marva. That's right. Get in touch with me. Get in touch with your upline. Get in touch with your sponsor. Get in touch with somebody you're in touch with that you know knows the answer. I can tell you that whatever you ask me, I'll find the answer of it. If I don't know the answer, chances are I know someone who does. I always tell people that you never need to worry about a conversation. If somebody asks you something you don't know, just come and ask me, and I'll help direct you. Autoresponders, 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 autoresponders. Everybody tells you, get your autoresponders set up, get all these sales letters in there, and, and just plug it in, and you're going to make money. Hands off. You could just go sit on the beach. You never have to talk to a soul. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't think so. I have met so many amazing people from around the world. I can't imagine not connecting with them. How boring to just throw people into an autoresponder. An autoresponder is important. It really is. It's important to educate your prospects. That's really what it's about. It's a place to educate your prospects. But it's really important that your prospects get to know the real you, that you reach out and have those real live conversations. Whether you're having a message interaction on Skype or Facebook or whether you're having a phone conversation or whether you're on a Skype call, it's about the one-on-one -on -one interaction, about the replay, the, the getting to know a person. Personally following up with individuals allows them to think, there's a real person out there. Because I don't know about you. I get tired of the autoresponders. I get tired of the emails just coming and going and nobody ever really reaching out and saying, hey, if, if you need help, I'm here. 
In fact, most organizations, you don't get that help unless you're a big spender. You guys agree? That is a challenge out there. And so if you put yourself out there as somebody different, your results are going to be different, I promise you. You like it when someone reaches out to you, when there's a real person. I have people connect with me every day who complain. People love to complain. And they complain that, you know, they joined this program and it's a ripoff and nobody contacts me. I can't get a hold of anyone. And, you know, and, and I'm sitting right there. We're having a conversation. And, I mean, I'll say to them, have you ever had a conversation with people in those businesses? No, blah, 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 blah. But well, you're having a conversation with me. <laughs> There's a real difference right there. And I can tell you that as soon as you put the real you into your business, and, and number one, be proud of your business. Number two, make contact with people out there about your business and about theirs. Find out what they're looking for so that you can offer it to them. Your business is going to soar because people get really tired of just plugging in. And, and yeah, people are looking for that instant get rich. I'm just going to put my name and email address in here and I'm going to make a million dollars. Good luck with that. Okay, let's get neat, deep down nitty gritty into some real types of connections. That'd be the purple kind of one that stands out because you will stand out. You will. People will, if you send a personal follow-up to someone or you get them on Skype and you, you send a message, they're going to be going, whoa, that's pretty cool. On average, how many new subscribers are you adding, you adding to your list every day? I would love to have as many of you as possible answer that question. How many new subscribers are you adding to your list every day? Maybe you have more than one list growing, but on average, how many new subscribers are you getting on a daily basis? One, two, ten, a hundred? Come on. Okay, that you know what? A couple every day adds up. Trust me, if you can add one or two subscribers to your list every day, you're doing a good job. Anyone else? So good job, John. Anyone else? Now, when you set up your lead capture page, the contact list builder way, we teach you to ask for a Skype ID. But did you know that if you don't have a Skype ID, you can still add them to Skype with their email address? You can also search for them on your social networks. And send them a message. Rahima is seeing two to three a week. That's awesome. It's a start. You really should be seeing two to three a day. And if you're not, it means you're not advertising your capture page enough. Does that make sense? If you're not getting two or three subscribers a day, you're not advertising your capture page enough. And, and same with you, Ricard. Two or three a week, it's not enough. You're sending out daily, then you need more resources. You need more viral mailers. You need different advertising resources because two or three subscribers a day is not, it's not even hard to get two or three subscribers a day. If you were to spend a concerted half an hour a day in the right places, you'll get two or three subscribers a day and it, it's worth it. So I'm going to challenge you all to put up a notch, okay? If the resources you're using right now and you're using them regularly and they're only giving you two or three subscribers a week, you need to step it up. Well, then you need to find another way, Rahima. You need to stop wasting your time clicking for credits and start advertising somewhere else. All right? I show a strategy with IBO Toolbox where you can go in and I went in yesterday and I added 10 new people to my Skype list in about 10 minutes. That's 10 people on my list that I can connect with and communicate with. Ruby says, what do you do if you have a list of subscribers from a business that's closed down now? Well, Ruby, 
get them into contact list builder and show them how to build their list and, and get busy making more money and, and bring them into the business that's not closed and tell them you're going to work with them and let them convert them into what you're doing now. Businesses close down every day. I'd love to say pick a better business, <laughs> and I will. Pick a business that's been around a long time, but you know, tools and resources online come and go. But if there's a business out there that's shut down and they're on your subscriber list, convert them, bring them in through CLB, teach them how to build their list so that the business they're in doesn't matter. Okay, so I know everybody gets busy, but let me tell you guys, okay, I'm going to say this out there. If your budget is low, you need to stop clicking for credits because you're wasting your time. There's so many other ways to, to get that activity, to go out there and connect with people. It means you actually have to do it, okay? You can't just sit there and remotely go click, send, click, send, click, send, click, 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 click. I don't have to think about this. It means you have to think and reach out to people. Are they in an autoresponder though, Ruby? If they're not in your autoresponder, having a list of people that's in another, I mean, were they in, are they your personal subscribers? Were they your downline members in another business? Or is it just a list of people of another business? You need to be more specific. If they're not on your subscriber list, um, I give them a call. You can't email them. I mean, you, you can, but you really have to know what you're doing to be able to email those kind of lists, okay? So it's great to have those kind of lists. The way to really maximize those kind of lists is to get on the phone and phone them and say, really sorry to hear about the company you're with. If you're looking for a new home, I have one for you here. Right? You need to do all you can to make contact with people out there, wherever that is. wherever it is. And if you're spending all day clicking for credits, stop it. You can do a little bit, pick one or two lists that, are, that convert highly and, and, you know, use those. But really, it, 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 you've got to find better places to get results. And you can do that in the social networks. You can do that by reaching out and saying, hi, have you seen this? Hi, have you seen this? Hi, add people to your Skype list and then connect with them on Skype and ask them, get them on your list. It's I just want to see you guys get better results. I want to help you. I want you to have things work better. Okay? Well, an hour a day spent on social networks actually reaching out and connecting with people and having a conversation with them would probably get you further than clicking for credits. As, you know. But, it, you know, there is, and like you say, I mean, if all you have is an hour a day, Rahama, then you may want to look at redirecting that hour somewhere that's going to get you better results. Do you see what I'm saying? That holds true for everyone. If what you're doing isn't getting you results, if you're spending all your time doing things that aren't getting you results, find something that will. Because there are many things out there that will. You know, connect with me. Let's have a conversation on Skype and talk about some things you can do that will increase your results. Because there's one of two things you need to invest in your internet marketing business. In fact, you need to invest them both, time and money. The less money you have, the more time you need to invest. The more money you have, the less time you need to invest. That's the bottom line. But those are the two things you need to invest. And you always need to invest time no matter how much money you have. So consider that. New referrals in your business, and all of you get sign-ups in different programs, yes? How many of you, every once in a while, you'll get a sign-up in a, 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 a safe list, or you'll get a sign-up in your traffic exchange, or you'll get a sign-up, maybe you're lucky enough to get a sign-up in GBO, or your primary business, or anything. Maybe you'll get a free CLB sign-up. You need to do everything you can to follow up with them. That, you know, Georgia, they don't log in, they don't, that's right, but nothing's stopping you from emailing them on a consistent basis just to let them know you're there. And the key here, all right, all those people don't click their things all the time. It might take them forever to finally do that. Just keep filling it. Get more people in the funnel, more people in the funnel, more people in the funnel, more people in the funnel. If you have a phone number, phone them. 
Oh my God. Oh my God, you want me to pick up my phone and make a phone call? Did you know you can make a phone call on Skype? I love Skype. You can make a phone call on your, your phone. If you have your, your phone. I, I just, I love my phone because I have a smartphone. And the truth of the matter is I can pretty much run my entire business from my phone if I needed to. It's not very convenient. <laughs> I do like to be at my computer. I can't say that my phone is all that convenient. However, I can. I can do everything I need to do right from my phone. I want you guys to feel better about reaching out and connecting with people. I want this to be something you look forward to doing. Because I don't think most of you look forward to actually making contact with a person, do you? Say no if I'm right. No. Because you're not really sure what to say. You look forward to it. Ricardo, you have an amazing personality, so I, you know, I'm sure you do. But I know most of you, you don't really look forward to them making contact with you because maybe you're a little bit shy or you're just not sure what to say. And even if it's just a little bit not anxious to talk to new people, it's like, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit shy. So I'm going to challenge you to get excited about connecting with people. Why? Because you want to make more money. And if you want to make more money, you need to make more friends. And those friends are looking to make friends with you. And they're very lonely out there. There's a lot of lonely business people out there looking for a home. There's a lot of people struggling and, and, and confused and don't know where to go, what to do, what ends up. They're floundering here, there, and everywhere. They're following this instructor and that instructor, and nothing's happening for them. Let them know you have a system that works. Do I'm pretty sure every single person here is attached to Contact List Builder in some shape or for your contact connected to me. That means you've got a system you can use. And that system will help anybody and everyone out there. When someone adds you to Facebook as a friend, do you go out there and connect with people? Do you go out and post, oh, thanks for connecting with me. I look forward to it. When do you have time to chat? Do you go and check out their Facebook profile? Do you look at their pictures? Do you, do you see what they post? Make some comments? I can tell you something. That goes a long way. Someone adds you as a friend. Go to their site. Have a look at what they're doing. Comment on their picture. Say, wow, that's a really great picture. I see you're into motivational stuff. Or, you know, I see you're into healthcare. Or I see you're into whatever. One of my mentors, one of my coaches, Marshall Silver, if you don't know who he is, let's talk. One of his favorite sayings, be interested rather than interesting. Yes, people want to know about you. Don't get me wrong, they do. But in this instance... I want you to go out of your way to get to know them. I want you to be interested in what they're looking for. I want you to be interested in them. I want you to find out what makes them tick. Because once you know what makes them tick, you know how to help them. You know how to direct them. How many of you use Skype? It's one of the best tools out there. I, I love Skype for so many reasons, but for internet marketing, it is phenomenal because I can come on Skype and, and you know, I can, I'm in a lot of groups in Skype. I love the idea that I can have groups. I know how to moderate them, so I'm not got those, I don't have those messages yapping at me. I set my Skype um, protocols so that it doesn't give me any noise. I don't hear it. I go and check it when I'm ready to check it. But it is my biggest best tool there is uh, through contact list builder we we have a program we we recommend and promote called um, Skype seek and send in fact most of you received a Skype invitation to the call today yes but I bet most of you are not using that program now imagine if I just sent a little note out to everybody that said hi what's up today got time to chat I have a feeling I'd have a lot of people responding to me Skype is one of the best tools out there. When was the last time you went on Skype and looked to see what contacts are online and sent a message to each and every one of them said, Hi, what's new in your world today? Or, Hi, how's it going out there today? 
or hi, I'm online for a couple hours. Do you have time to chat? Oh my God, they might actually respond. Then I have to have a conversation. Oh no. You know what, guys? If you just learn to ask questions, you're not going to have any trouble having conversations. What business are you in? If you're in a business that you're not interested or whatever, that's okay. Just say, oh, wow, how long have you been with them? Are you making money? Where do you advertise? What are your best resources? If they're very successful in a business, well, you've hit mana. You can ask them lots of questions. How do they build? I was talking to a fellow yesterday, and he's on Facebook a lot. He's He lives a very joyous life. He's been through an awful lot as a human being. He was uh, in a very terrible was it a snowmobile accident or anyway he was the whole body was crunched up and you know he really shouldn't have even lived yet he did and he's out there he's had triple quadruple bypasses and you know what he's just the happiest joyous guy there is and I was talking to him because he's very successful in a mutual company that we're in and so I asked him his secret because he's I really didn't think he was an internet marketer and I've, I've been associated with a few like him and, and he's not He's on the phone. Now, he might use the Internet to get phone numbers, but he's on the phone. He's on the phone all day, every day. So he probably goes on Facebook. He looks for people that are in other programs. You know, there was a program just shut down the other, or not, well, yeah, the FTC shut them down. So chances are he's on the phone. He's got a contact list of all those people, and he's just phoning them and saying, you know, sorry to hear about your company. And he just goes, and he goes. You can do the same thing on Skype. But he uses the phone so completely. I'm an internet marketer. I build my list. I get people through my systems and I connect with them on Skype, on Facebook, on the phone, however we want to connect. And I do it that way. So to each their own, all right? I'm not a sit on the phone all day kind of person. Some people are, that's okay. I don't mind having conversations on the phone with someone who needs help and that I'm directing. I like to connect with them first. So when I have a phone conversation, it's with somebody who's already come through my system and knows me, or at least has subscribed to my list, connected with me in some shape or form. I'm really not into calling people who uh, don't know me. So to each their own. We can all be successful. But Skype, my friends, if you're not using it, you need to start using it. If you want to know more about Skype, seek and send. Let me know. I'll be happy to share it. One of the best programs out there. Because it really allows you to maximize um, your Skype tool. And as I said to, I believe it was Rahim earlier, or somebody about IBO Toolbox. If you guys haven't used that strategy, um, I do have a couple blog posts about it, a video about how to do it. One of the simplest strategies there is because IBO Toolbox does uh, get, uh, give you the opportunity to look up people's profiles. And on their profile, it shows their Skype ID if they've included it. So you can add them as a contact on IBO Toolbox and add them to your Skype list. It's huge. It's just the simplest way to start building your list. And I need to remind you all that your Skype contacts are part of your list. New business leads. People come in. Uh, some of you might be promoting a lead capture page for a specific business. So you make sure when somebody comes in for a specific business, remember they're interested in your business. Follow up with them. Find out why they're interested. What are they looking for? Are they looking for that product? Are they looking for uh, an opportunity? Are they, what are they looking for? It's your job. And this is a job. This is what your job is, is to find out what your leads and prospects are looking for so that you can direct them. The chances are you have a product or service that's going to give them what they need. Regardless of what you're doing, if you're involved in internet marketing, you've got something for them, right? Engage in them. Get them engaging. You want them to think you really care. Oh, wait a minute. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, you all do really care, don't you? Do you care about the people you connect with? Do you, do you want to build those good long-term relationships? Do you, do you want to get to know people? Be that kind of person. Be that kind of person that people flock to. Like, I just want to be... I want to be Rahima's best friend. I just really like her. She's really nice and she really seems to care. When I ask a question, she's always happy to answer. We covered a lot today. 
I think you now understand why making contact is so important. We've given you some strategies on when to make those contacts. We talked a lot about your autoresponder. Done a whole class on autoresponders. And we talked about the types of follow-up to make with those contacts. If you still need help, I'm always available to help. I'm going to be around most of the day today. Get me on Skype. <laughs> I want you to go out and have fun making first contact today. And I'm going to challenge all of you to really get out there today and connect with at least five new people, meaning you have a conversation with five people. So you're going to go on Facebook. You might send a message to someone. And when they answer back, oh, my goodness, <coughs> you're having a conversation. Maybe you'll go down your Skype list and see who's on Skype, who's showing online today, and send them a message and say hello. I want you to do it. I'm going to challenge you to make contact with five people today. Find out what they're doing. Find out what programs they're in. Find out how you might be able to help them. Maybe direct them to Contact List Builder. Let them know about this amazing group of people we have. Whatever you want to do, but make contact. Who's game? Who's going to go out there and make contact with five people today? Yes? It's time to take action. You're either going to find them on Facebook, IBO Toolbox, any social network. Okay, people are, they are screaming to make contact with somebody who wants to connect. That's right, Wally. It's not many, how many are on your list. It's how many are on your list that, that know you. And the only way they're going to get to know you is if you get out there and make first contact. Well, if you want to make first contact with Don and I, here's our contact information. You'll find us on Skype at Janet Legere, just my name, one word. And you'll find Don at Don.Legere. Make sure you add us. We're happy to have a conversation with you anytime and help direct you as best we can. You'll find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash get live training. Do come and like our page. We would love to have you be part of our community. And speaking of communities, if you're looking for our webinar replays, you'll find them on our Get Live Training blog at getlivetraining.com forward slash hosts. We're here to help you guys. Tuesday to Friday, we're going to be here at Morning Motivator. If you've never been and you're available at 10 a.m. Eastern, come and join us at themorningmotivator.com. We've been reading Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, my favorite book of all time. And we're into playing games right now. So it's a great time to come and join us because you get to learn to play games that make you feel happy. And at the end of the day, feeling happy is what it's all about. Tuesday to Friday, we're there at 10 a.m. Eastern. And then we'll be back on Saturdays for Get Live Training. For the next couple weeks, though, Mr. Steve Gahagan will be on tap to entertain, amuse, and educate you. Don and I are going away on Friday. We're heading off to Victoria uh, for a long overdue visit with our granddaughter Zadie. And of course, we'll visit with my son and daughter-in-law as well. <laughs> but the prime objective there is to hang out with Zadie. And actually, we're going to be there to spend my son's birthday, first time in many years. So looking forward to that. I will miss you guys. But we will be back here on the 26th of September, I believe, unless we head out of town. I will be back here to um, entertain and guide you in September. So I'll be here to enter to uh, support Steve. We'd love to see you. I know he'll do some things that uh, really get you excited. If you need me, I'm here all day. Get me on Skype. Let's connect. Let's have that conversation. And let's make things happen for you. Okay? How to best use Skype? You know what? Maybe it's time for me to do a call on that. I can do a webinar on how best to use Skype. It's a great tool. Uh, and uh, we actually have some training on that. So uh, maybe in the future, Wally, that we'll do that when I get back in September. Be a great call. You guys have been awesome. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking time out of your Saturday to be here to do some learning, some training, some everything. You guys are awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, enjoy a little music to get you on your way. Hmm, what am I going to play for you guys today? Oh, I know what I'm playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. All right, guys. This is how I'm feeling today, and I hope it affects you, too. You'd be a little happy. See you next week. Love you guys. Find me on Skype.